Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and in this lecture we will discuss about techniques of digital forensics. There are a number of techniques that are used during computer forensics investigation and we will discuss them one by one. We will start with cross drive analysis. We will start with cross drive analysis. A forensic technique that correlates information found on multiple hard drives the process still being researched can be used to identify social networks and to perform anomaly detection the examination of computers from within the operating system using custom forensics or existing system admin tools to extract evidence is known as live analysis the practice is useful when dealing with encrypting file systems for example where the encryption keys may be collected and in some instances the logical hard drive volumes may be imaged which is also known as a live acquisition before the computer is shut down Volatile data is a data that is lost if the power is switched off. Computer requires some memory space where it could store most frequently used data, intermediary results of an operation, etc., which could be accessed by the CPU of a computer at faster rate. Some of the examples of fast memory are CPU registers cache memory, random access memory, etc. The access time to these memory devices is low, but they are volatile in nature. RAM contains wealth of information like system registries, passwords, browsing histories, information about open processes and ports, user profiles of a system, that is, who logged into the computer, what are the hardware attached to the system, remote login details, IP addresses, etc., which could be very useful for forensic investigator. There are many volatile memory units present in the system like CPU registers, cache memory, RAM, etc., with different order of volatility. Order of volatility specifies the how sensitive the memory is towards the loss of data higher is the order of volatility higher are the chances of data being lost changed or modified therefore the forensic investigator must follow the order of volatility to capture data from different memory devices the order of volatility of various digital storage devices or digital evidence is shown in the screen. The higher is the level of memory in the pyramid, higher is the order of volatility. Next technique is recovery of deleted files. A common technique used in computer forensics is the recovery of deleted files. Modern forensic software have their own tools for recovering or carving out deleted data. Do not always erase physical file data, allowing investigators to reconstruct it from the physical disk sectors. File carving involves searching for known file headers within the disk image and reconstructing deleted materials. Next is stochastic forensics, a method which uses stochastic properties of a computer system to investigate activities lacking digital artifacts. Its chief use is to investigate data theft. And the last is steganography. One of the techniques used to hide data is via steganography. 
the process of hiding data inside of a picture or digital image. An example would be to hide pornographic image of children or other information that a given criminal does not want to have discovered. Computer forensics professionals can fight this by looking at the hash of the file and comparing it to the original image if available. While the image appears exactly the same, the hash changes as the data changes. In forensic examination, stagnalysis is used to get the details of stenographic contents.